school, there was a time when I liked two different girls at the same time. One was my best friend's little sister, weird, and the other was a super cute girl from history class. I invited both to my birthday party to go to see my favorite band, The Shins, play in concert. I didn't know at the time, but both of them were into me too. We took a limo to and from the concert, and on the way there, I snuggled up with my friend's little sister. I didn't know at the time, but this made the cute girl from history class super jealous. On the way back, I sat next to the cute girl from history class. My friend's little sister was not too pleased with this development. Just as an aside, I wasn't some kind of player or anything. I was a pretty shy kid, and the fact that these two girls that I liked were at my party was pretty surreal. I guess I could have been more mindful of their feelings, but hey, I was dumb and 18. So it turns out I really, really liked the girl from my history class, and I soon ended things with my friend's little sister. The history class girl, Megan, and I started dating at the end of senior year. Not a very convenient time to start a relationship, but she since she was going to college in Indiana and I would be going to college in Utah. But there was something about this girl I absolutely could not get enough of. We spent an incredible summer together. Like a total noob, I, I told her I loved her after dating her for like two weeks. She didn't know what to think at first and kind of laughed it off. But before we parted ways and went to our separate universities, she reciprocated the sentiment. She went off to Butler and I to BYU. We kept in touch and actually flew to visit each other a few times freshman year. We tried dating other people, but neither of us had any interest in other people. We decided to make the long distance thing work. Keeping a relationship going over Skype was tough, but it was nothing compared to what was coming next. Following a lifelong dream, I left on a two year adventure as a Mormon missionary to Mexico City. I spent my time serving people and helping them change their lives. Part of the program was that I was to dedicate myself 100% to the work. Contact with family and with Megan was limited to one email per week and two phone calls a year on Christmas and Mother's Day. Megan wrote letters throughout my mission and we kept up as best we could given the circumstances. Towards the end of my time in Mexico, Megan had entered a pretty serious relationship with a guy named Mike. But the moment I saw Megan, we rushed into each other's arms and kissed and wept. Keep in mind that that was the first time that I had contact with a female beyond a handshake in two years, so I was pretty much in heaven. Megan broke things off with Mike the next day. Things were looking up, but it wasn't smooth sailing just yet. Megan had one more year before she graduated from Butler. We were, bo we were back to Skype and the occasional short visit. Over Thanksgiving break, we were both back to our hometown visiting family for the holidays, I bought a ring and asked Megan to marry me. She said yes, and we were married a month later after she graduated. After she graduated, we got married in Washington, D.C. We had a mariachi band at our rehearsal dinner. It was amazing. That day was the beginning of the rest of my life. Megan and I are coming up on our sixth year of marriage, and I could not be happier how, with how things have turned out. Sometimes you just got to trust your gut and fight for what you want in life. It wasn't easy, but I can say that it was 100% worth it.